Hi, I'm Natasha. Thanks for joining my channel today. We're going to do a vinyasa yoga flow class. Have some blocks handy and let's get started in child's pose today. Bring your knees together or if you feel like your hips are feeling a little bit tight, perhaps create some space in the hips. Allow the body to drape over the legs. And then the arms can really do whatever you feel comfortable. If you want to stretch them out, soften the elbows, bring them back by your sides. It's whatever you're feeling in this moment. If you have trouble bringing your butt to your heels, you can prop up a blanket or even a block and sit on it to elevate the hips. Let's just take some calming breaths into the body. Expanding through the back body, feeling the breath go all the way into the sides of the back. And then exhale, sigh, <sighs> deeply out the mouth. So the first few breaths, let's just let it go out of the mouth as you sigh and release any lingering stress, judgment, anxiety, any stale air that's lingering in the body, <sighs> sigh it out. Take a moment to release through the forehead, the eyebrows, the jaw, and the tongue. Perhaps wiggle a little bit, finding ease through the spine and the hips. Just wiggling. And then coming back to stillness. We'll change the breath to a Ujjaya Pranayama breath, if that works for you, breathing through the nose and listening to the vibration that's hap happening in the back of the throat as you push the air out of the body completely and bring in this new fresh air with your inhales and exhaling deeply, surrendering to this moment, to staying present, staying focused, letting go of all other thoughts. bringing a mindfulness into the practice, listening to our bodies, whether that means to push yourself or to find a moment of stillness and rest. Let's go ahead and start to reach the arms really long. And again, just wiggling the hips from side to side. Bring it up into all fours, spreading the fingers wide, index finger points forward, elbow crease wraps forward, shoulders press down, knees under hips, and then just start to liberate the spine and find movement here with your breath. Inhaling deeply, exhale, round the spine, engage the core, maybe give those hips a little wiggle and sway in your cat cow. See how that feels. And then barrel circles sideways a few times in each direction. Just wiggle and get weird and see where your body wants to go. Get really playful. Generating heat with the breath and the subtle movements. Let's bring the hips back. Gaze forward. We're gonna just start with these little knees, chest, chin. Very small, elbows back, heart and gaze forward, then press it back. We'll do that two more times and you can round your way there and then extend the heart forward, pull the belly in. Take it back, round it forward, knees, chest, chin, maybe you hit that 90 degrees, round it back. And then start to jet your shoulders over the fingertips, stretching the wrists out. Breathe here. Okay, let's flip the fingertips backwards and take a couple stretches back and forth, back and forth. Move your wrists in any way that feels good for your body, kind of just flipping them around. And then let's take a little bit of weight upside down on the top of the hand, wiggle those fingers, press strongly through the shoulders, keep plugging that belly in, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Nice, prop up onto fingertips. Wrap the triceps again, push the shoulders down. Let's take a little hover bounce on the fingertips and the top of the toes for three, two, one. Tuck the toes under and then swing back to the toes. 
So we're gonna peel out the pinky toe and just kind of breathe here and settle into maybe a little bit of discomfort that's happening. See if you can breathe through it. So discomfort's okay, pain we never wanna feel, so you can back off if there's any pain that's happening. Lean back, start to activate the quads and the core, and then this little playful movement, which might leave you on your bottom, just see if you can swing back to the heels and toes. I love doing that one. Get swing back to the heels and maybe you fall, that's okay. You can use your hands or try to get up and out. We'll lift up through a toe stand. Lift up the belly and ribs. Lift the knees as you come onto the very tippy, tippy, tippy toes. Good, we're gonna swing to a half forward fold. Charge the energy forward into the toes. Pull the belly in. Long neck and spine, crown of the head forward, tailbone back, utkatasana at the back of your mat. Good, palms can just reach forward, shoulders back and down, keep pulling the ribs in. Gentle tuck of the tail. Swing forward, halfway into the toes. Maybe start to lift your heels. Take a breath there. Energy in the fingertips, engaging the triceps. Send it back, Utkatasana. Tuck the tailbone under, maybe lift the arms up. One more time, pressing into the toes, balance. You might step forward if you're falling, that's okay. And then Utkatasana chair. Lift up those toes. Yeah, we'll come on down to the ground and then crawl out to a plank pose. High plank, for the crease of the elbows forward. Again, this gentle tuck of the tail to just firm everything. The quads are on, the kneecaps rise. The heels press back as the crown of the head reaches forward. Gaze slightly forward at the top of the mat. Take a couple breaths here. Okay, we'll turn into a side plank, lifting the hips. We're gonna bend the top knee and just land and straighten. Inhale, exhale, maybe start to reach the arm over, lift the hips a little higher on this third one. Go all the way back, plank pose. Turn the heels, lift the arm and hips, and then bend the top knee, hips down, hips up, each one a little bit more space. Try to create one more time. Lift, lift, lift. Come back through plank. Knees, chest, chin. Good, let's bring the belly to the mat and take a baby cobra. We'll do that a few times, pressing the palms into the fingertips, roll the shoulders back and down. Squeeze the heels up towards the sky. Press the pubic bone down and play with where you're Back feels good. You can just move one shoulder, one ear, other shoulder, other ear. Let's come up to the space that we can hold our bodies up. Lift the legs. Just a gentle locust. Take a breath here. Bring the palms back. Press yourself up to plank pose or through the knees. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga if you're ready. Charge the heart forward, the elbows back. Upward facing dog. Take a moment here. Elbow crease forward. Draw the shoulders. Really push them down and back as you swing the hips forward. Imagine you're pulling the mat backwards. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Maybe you feel like your heart rate's elevated. Just connect to the breath and slow it down. Again, find your playful movements that feel good. Move, shimmy. Let's come up onto tippy toes. Lower the heels, chest towards toes. Spread fingers wide. All 10 fingers are actively gripping the mat. Bend the knees deeply, maybe bounce. Hips back, belly to thighs. Straighten, tiptoes, high heels. Exhale, sink, bend, bounce. Here's where we're gonna practice little tiny hops. Land in the same spot, jump, land. Jump, land, start to really energetically push the shoulders down, firm the belly. Just to teach you how to jump forward, we wanna get those hips up nice and high. So maybe you grab a block, place it under the belly button, and let's see if we can jump over it to get to the top of the mat. Bend, bounce. Hips up, soft landing. You can try that a few times. Getting the hips up high, 
slowing the legs with the core and the shoulders. Bend, hips up, and land. Let's take a forward fold, Uttanasana. Maybe open the feet about hip width. And here we'll circle the wrists while we're, while we're here. Allow the heavy head to get heavier. Shake it out. If you can reach the mat, flip the back of the hands down a little counter or even step on them. Pulling gently that upper body down. See where your fold can take you, Uttanasana. You can even play with love, a little balance here. Trying to engage the quads. Lift up onto your tippy toes. Core on, lower down. Grab your opposite elbow and sway. Release it. Little bounce initiating from the core. Round, flat, round, and then ragdoll all the way up to Tadasana. Spread your toes like we spread the fingers. Anchor down, root down through the feet, rise up through the crown of the head. Roll the shoulders back and down, shine the heart open. Again, this gentle tuck of the tail so we have this neutral spine, ribs in, kneecaps upward as you engage the quads, deep breath. Inhale, grab the opposite elbow and see if you can just give it a gentle tug, maybe behind the ears, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna round the spine, bring the palms, the uh, elbows forward. Exhale, lift. You could take this into a gentle back bend. Just see where your body will go. Inhale, round. Exhale, shoulders open, heart to sky. Release the hands and see if you can grab the elbows behind the back. Wiggle to get there. Take a breath. And then bind the hands behind the back. Lift and lower, find some range of motion there. Keep spreading through the toes, anchoring down, maybe a back bend. Let's move, inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. We turn the back muscles on, so wherever you can go to find expansion through the heart, back turns on, exhale, flush. Press into palms, no matter how much you need to bend the knees. Wide hands, index finger forward. Activate the shoulders as you jump back. And you could try that a few times. Jumping. Meet in plank. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Heart forward, gaze forward. Elbows back by ribs. Inhale, upward facing. Shine the heart open. Exhale, down dog. Breathe. Right leg lifts. Keep the hips square, toes pointed or flexed towards the mat. Now high up on the left toes, round the spine, give your nose a tap. Bring it back. This time we'll tap the knee down into the nose and down to the ground. Tap, lower, tap, back. One more time like that. Inhale, shin high above the mat, creating space for the step through. Tuck. Land, tuck, and step. Hands lined up with front toes. Good. If you didn't quite make it there, grab the foot and get there. And create this space. Heart open. Left hip flexor, left quad lengthening. Heel presses back. Breathe. A subtle bounce, maybe. We'll lower the back knee and inhale. Anjaneyasana. You could bring the palms to meet. Thumbs tuck behind the neck. Gentle back bend, wherever it feels good for you. Inhale, exhale, come onto the back knee, tuck it under to give you a little more space and see if it's accessible to grab. If you can't, we'll press the hand into the small of the back. If you can reach there, half camel, half lunge, one breath here. Both hands are gonna climb across the right leg. See if you can twist, you can untuck the toe. If you have trouble, grab a block. They go on high settings too. Twist through the upper body. Sink through the left hip. Take a breath. Good, bring both hands back around and we'll take half split. Ardha Hanumanasana through low lunge. Get rolling back. Pressing through a few times. And then we'll hold this half split 
Give your hips a wiggle and then draw the left hip, right hip back, left hip forward. Try to shine the heart forward. If you have really tight hamstrings, please take blocks here. And then, of course, my favorite core exercise, compression work. Cat the back, round the spine, and see if you can pick up this front heel. You could tap it side to side, you could pulse it. You'll feel the quad hip flexor and core there. Try it a few times, even if the leg doesn't lift today, maybe in time. Again, press onto the foot, take your block with you. We'll just take a supported warrior three. Charge the energy of the crown of the head forward and the heel back. Take that bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, and straighten. Bring that left pinky toe to meet your right pinky toe. And then take a forward fold here. Good. Just breathe. See if you can turn that left hip forward. Sweep the arms over the head. Grab the left wrist and take a gentle side stretch as you push the hips and maybe try to straighten out the knees. Lift the shoulders to stack. Gaze up. Come all the way back down. Uncross the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, root and rise. Let's go again. Other side. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Your flow, stepping or jumping through high to low or to chaturanga if you can hold this nice line. Inhale, up dog. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, downward facing dog. Connect to the breath, pedal, move, or find stillness. Left leg rises. Hip stays square here. Toes point or flex towards the earth. Come high on the right toes. Nose to knee. High shin above the earth. Press it back this time. Nose to knee. Tap the knee. Pull it in. Press it back. Again, this time we step through. Tap, lower, tap. Create space, create space, step. Hands in line with the front toes. Push that right heel back. Maybe you even wiggle it there. Shine the heart forward. Gentle movement if it feels good. Remember, blocks are always an option. You don't want to be kind of out of alignment just to reach your mat. So breathe here. Breath in. Exhale, lower the back knee. Take that foot down and bring this the shoulders over the hips. Inhale. Maybe a gentle back bend here. You can do the same arms. Breathe. Elbows shining towards the sky as well as the heart as you lower through the right hip flexor. Good. Press and tuck the back toes under. See if that back heel is available to grab. If not, press the palm into the sacrum, the low back, and arch back. Option to drop the head. If that feels safe, a little bit more challenging for a balance. Cartwheel both hands to cross the left leg, even if you have to hook the elbow. And then if you can't quite reach the mat or fingertips, go ahead and grab your block, set it up. We're just rotating through the upper back. Shoulders trying to square off with that front thigh. Sink a little deeper. One more big breath and bring both hands back with your blocks through to shift back through half split. Ardha Hanumanasana and Anjaneyasana, just kind of moving through those poses, using the core to get you there, round and extend, round and extend. Press down into your blocks if you don't need them, palms, fingertips, around the spine and see if you can pick up that heel. Maybe bounce it side to side or little pulses up. Or if you're struggling, just work on trying to get the heel off the mat. Good, and round it back. Take your block with you for a supported warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Pull expansion through the crown of the head and the heel. Bend, straighten. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Bring those pinky toes to touch. And then release into a forward fold. Now swivel the hips, left hip back, right hip forward, nose to knee. 
Good. And then sweep the arms up. We'll grab a hold of the right wrist and take a gentle side bend. And then maybe you can try to work on straightening the knees a little bit as you press the hips to the right. And challenge the balance by gazing up. Breathe. Good. Come out of that. Uncross. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Root and rise. Inhale up. Exhale, let's go. Your flow. Move through your vinyasa. Whatever that is in your body. Modifying. Skipping. Or adding some extra push-ups. Upward facing dog. Perhaps jumping to chaturanga a few times. Inhale. Exhale. Or just adding some push-ups. Knees, chest, chin. Or skipping it completely. Downward facing dog. Take the right leg up. Bend the knee, stack the hip open. Breathe here, option to lower to the elbow just for a brief moment. Come back off. Okay, we're gonna flip our dog by just simply lifting the right hand and landing, and then shining the heart and hips up. Good, coming back around, we're gonna thread the right foot through and hover the leg. Take a breath here. As we come back, we're going to take lizard lunge. Left hand down, right foot steps wide. Right hand twists. Reach up. Breathe here. Gaze forward. Your option is to step, thread the back foot through and back. Twisting lunge. This time we're going to try to swivel the hips. Turn to the corner edges of the feet and reach behind you. Move here. As you have this right, knee, uh, right hip in external rotation, lower through the left hip. And then your option one more time to come through. Thread, come back. Bring both hands down, maybe wiggling down to elbows, forearms, seeing where your lizard can go. You could try to swing this right shoulder under the right knee, perhaps reaching the right hand behind the back, and oh, balance, left hand, gentle bind. Nice work. Option four, an arm balance as well. Tuck the right toes under, lizard, flying lizard. Untuck, land. Good. One more twist. Reach up. From here, we're going half moon. Right hand to block or mat. Swivel the left hip up to stack. Half moon. Breathe. Gaze up. Flex the back foot energetically, stacking the left hip and shoulder on top of the right. From here, bring your left knee to the mat, palms to heart center. Tap the knee if you can, or even land it. Figure four, left knee draws into the chest. Flex, cross over, and sit. If you need to adjust the foot, go for it. Flex the left foot, and then sink until you feel that intense left hip in rotation. Breathe. You could take a flying pigeon here, if that's in your practice, or hold the balance. We're gonna take our left peace fingers into a yogi toe lock, thumb closes the lock, and then wherever you can take this foot, maybe it's here, maybe you keep extending. Standing big toe. Whoo, breathe. We're gonna swing that foot around to warrior three. Shine the crown of the head forward. High lunge, balance here. Pry the heart open, inhale, and exhale. From high lunge, yeah. turn the left heel down, step on it. Good, bounce, breathe. Toe can point down as you try to lower the hips, or flex it up and see if maybe you can land. Big breath in and out. Option, left knee is gonna try to lower Lift, mobility of the hip, and then we can turn towards that front foot and forward fold. 
Big breath in and out. Nice. Bring the knee up. Right hand grabs left ankle and we side bend. You might be up here. You might be able to find that right foot and grab it. And then rotate the left shoulder up a little higher. One more big breath here. Come out of it. Palms together. Lift, lift, lift. Side angle pose to the front. Turn the right toes forward. Side angle. Rotate the shoulders to step. Plug the belly in. Try to do this without the bottom arm. Push the shoulder down and then sweep up. Woo! Side angle pose. All out effort. Back through Skandasana and this time Trikonasana. Triangle pose. We'll straighten. Turn the toes. Maybe you adjust a little narrower if you've got wide. Shift the hips back. Reach, 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 reach. Curtain heel down. A block. You can land on the shin up high. Ankle. See where your pose can go. Where you're maintaining stacked shoulders, stacked ribs. This gentle tuck of the tail peels the left hip higher. Breathe. Yes. And we'll take pyramid. Drop through the left hand. Take a slightly little shift with the right foot back and then forward fold as you draw the left hip forward. Some fun options here. We could try that plugging in of the femur bone, core compression to lift the front foot. We could try floating pyramid, fingertips back, bend the knees to meet, push down through the shoulders, cat the back, see if you can float the back foot off. Nice. From here, you want to take your blocks if you can't, if you've struggled to step through, or see if you can step through, come to seated. All right, give yourself space behind you. We're going to roll back using the core. Pull the belly in. Lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. Hug that right heel in, maybe even with your hand. Swing the left foot up, head drops. Peel the spine off. Wiggle the shoulders together as you lift. Breathe. Puff up through the chest. Take a moment here. Maybe tiptoe the heel off the mat. One more big breath. Lower the heel. Wiggle the shoulders out. Unwind. Grab a hold of the calf or the hamstring and find this L shape. So we'll take the stretch. And then we'll try to make this active and stretch the arms forward. Little pulses, four, three, two, one. Rock. See if you can shift up to pistol. So this is gonna be your practice, what your body's able to do here. A couple there, and then trying to somehow make it back to lunge, whether that's with your hands, your blocks, or shifting. And then right away, we're gonna go through a vinyasa. Press the shoulders down, sweep the right foot back, maybe kick the right leg up, chaturanga. Upward facing, exhale down, down. Take a breather here. Look up, bend the knees, jump, hop, handstand to the top of the mat. And forward fold, hang out here. Shake out the neck, shimmy the hips. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Root and rise up to the top. Top. Palms connect. Let's go. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms meet mat. Your flow. High to low. Upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Connect to the breath. The left leg lifts. Bend the knee, stack open the hips, really hamstring curl that heel in, firing the hamstring, maybe brief drop onto the right forearm, then press right out of it, and we're going to keep going until we land. Flipping that dog, and then wild thing, hips up, chest up, press the right shoulder down. We'll flip over as slowly and as controlled as you can. Left hand down, thread the right foot through, hover, hold, 
Right hand down, left foot to the outside of the left hand. Lizard lunge. Shine the heart forward. Breathe here and then twist. Press down strongly through the right shoulder. Come up onto a block or fingertips and see if you can thread. Come back and twist again. Press down through the right shoulder. Take a moment here as you plant. We're going to swivel and stretch back, lowering the hip. This left hip is an external rotation. Be mindful of it. Breathe. <sighs> Send the arm forward, the gaze forward. Here's your chance maybe to come up onto a block or fingertips and see if you can thread, come back, and twist again. Press down through the right shoulder. Take a moment here as you plug the belly in. And then your depth. Maybe we go down to forearms. Some opportunity to play here. You can wiggle the left shoulder under. Maybe take that left hand behind and try to bind. Or taking an arm balance. Tuck the left toes under, swing the right leg up, bend or straighten, flying lizard. Come on out of it, breathe. Twisting lunge, little bit deeper, a little bit stronger, energetic back leg, right into half moon this time. So maybe your block's there or we're just gonna shift and then turn the hips, stack the shoulders, flex through that back foot, peeling the right hip up high. Everything is stacked. One more breath here. We're going to bring the right knee towards the mat as you lower the hips. Drive the heart up, down, and we'll try to cross. Figure four, standing figure four. Sink into that right hip this time. Flex the foot, protect the ankle, and see if you need to adjust. An opportunity for an arm balance here. If your hips are quite open, you could try to bring the arms down, make a shelf, wrap the left toes around the back of the arm, maybe just lift the foot here or extend it out. Good, come back through figure four. Right piece fingers, yogi toe lock on the right big toe, and then find your standing big toe wherever that is in your body. Maybe it's here today, maybe you can find expansion. Warrior three next. Float the foot back, palms to heart center. Take a moment to hit the pose and then keep going to high lunge. Breathe. Maybe a gentle back bend, prying the heart open. Listen to your body, Skandasana. Turn the right heel and toes to the right and shift down. And then you again, you just play with your depth of the movement. We want to try and keep this right heel down and we move through. Eventually coming to seated, even if you need to sit up on a block or a blanket, right knee down and up a few times, working through the mobility of the hip, lift and then forward fold towards the left toes, flex them back, deep breath in and out. Pick up the right knee, left hand grabs right ankle, and then side bend up here, or keep going. Big breath. Moving out of it. Pick up your seat with hands or without. Lift, side ankle pose, left forearm, left quad, left toes point towards the front of the mat. Right shoulder, ribs open, and then swing the arms out. Breathe, bend. Skandasana, shift back one more time. And then moving into triangle pose, straighten, turn those toes forward, shift the hips back, maybe you take a little hop inward and cartwheel down. Finding your pose, pull the belly in, peel that right hip up, shoulders pulling in opposition. One more breath here. Try to keep the body all stacked and aligned, even if you're on a block here. Right hand comes down, shift that front foot back just to 
few inches. Pyramid pose. Drop the forehead towards the knee or beyond. Shimmy and try to bring the right hip forward, left hip back. Some opportunity to play. You could try that front foot hovering on fingertips, on blocks. Floating pyramid, right knee bends. Fingertips point backwards, thumbs forward, round the spine like cat back and hug the heel in as you lean away. Whew. Bring it back down, readjust. Go ahead and bring the hands forward here and we'll just take a couple little jumps. Press the shoulders down and see if you can do a couple L kicks. Right foot like a pendulum and then maybe some little kick switches. more time. The left foot goes forward, the right foot. So from your pyramid, we're going to try to step the right foot through. Gaze forward. See if you can slip that foot through. Come into seated. Expand through the heart. Stack the spine. That left heel is really tightly tucked in. Use the core to lower down slowly. On your way, maybe hug that heel even more. Drop the head as you peel off the spine for bridge. Breathe here, energetic hips up, heart shining upward. Maybe pop up onto the tippy toes, lower and lift. Press into your mat with the foot and shoulders. Peel down, wiggle the shoulders out. Roll down like a string of pearls. Tuck the chin forward, grab at the shin or the, or the calf, and then pull those legs apart. So this is your passive stretch, you're holding on and then we turn it into an active stretch and we hold it on our own, pulling the legs apart. Pulse this bottom leg a few times as you plug the belly in. Four, more, two, one. You go ahead and practice getting yourself up. So left knee bends and you come through pistol. You come through pistol. If that's not gonna work for you, you have your blocks and we try here. And then eventually, we make it back through lunge. With or without the blocks, your flow. Chaturanga, upward facing. And exhale, let's take child's pose. Mm. Shimmy those hips. Take a moment, whatever you need to do, maybe a sip of water, maybe you're sweaty and you need to settle off. This could be a moment of rest for you. You could pause the video. Or let's go ahead and work the elbows under the shoulders, toes under. We'll take a dolphin. Walk those hips forward. Press firmly down through the shoulders. You can play here, toes, heels, toes. Maybe some little tuck jumps, pressing the shoulders down. If you have pincha in your practice, you could work on your pincha. We're gonna come back down. Take those feet back, crown of the head forward. You could bind your hands, shift forward and back, saw, tippy toes, ball of the foot, moving forward and back only. And then swing the hips down through sphinx. Push the palms down now and pry the mat backwards to shine the heart forward. Heels up, breathe. Bring the elbows out, chest down, bend the knees, hug the heels in, see if they're available to grab outside top of the foot. Shift the heels in as you press the hips down. Hug those heels in. Gaze forward, start to take a deep breath in and kick the feet up. Your depth. Just keep breathing, surrendering, opening up the chest and shoulders, engaging the whole back body, and release. Right ear comes down, palms up, wash the feet side to side. Breathe. Mm. Settle. We'll do that one more time. 
If you'd prefer to do locust, you could take that pose. Or one more back bend, chin forward, hug the heels in, send the hips down, breathe. And see if you can create a little more space. Left ear lands, palms up, shimmy those feet side to side, release it, take the chin forward, palms in by the heart, elbows up like wings, tuck those toes under, see if you can pick up the hips a few times, and then the whole body, push the earth away, high plank, puppy pose, maybe a block under your chest, or not. Chin, perhaps, onto the mat if you're working a deep cervical thoracic spine stretch. If that's too intense, please don't do it. Just bring a block to the chest. It should feel good. Intense, but good, not pain. And perhaps a little opportunity to play in chin stand. Grab your blocks. Shoulder width apart, fingertips touch the block behind you, index finger. We turn the fingers outward slightly. We bring our shoulders onto the blocks and let our chin dangle down and then maybe try to kick up. Push the shoulders down, come down. Get release the blocks away. Down dog. Pigeon pose, right leg up, right knee to right wrist. We could sit on a blanket, work here, a few breaths. Shine the heart forward, roll the shoulders back. If you want to work back bending, feel free to take any poses. If you want a deep hip flexor quad stretch, hug that heel in. Remember, no force. Maybe a mermaid bind. You could flip your grip if that's in your practice. Take a moment. Left hip forward, right hip back. Sleeping pigeon melt. Deep breathing here. Feel free to stay, or we'll do a little bit of hip mobility work. Bending the back knee in and seeing if you can hover it. Finding this 90 degrees, settling into the hips, and spinning a few times. Bringing the knees up, finding your 90-90 short pigeon, and flipping back around. See if you can find your pigeon one more time without hands. Hands down, pigeon push-ups for three two, and one, your flow. Left leg up, pigeon on the left. Let's finish this up. Wiggle the right hips back, the right toes back. Shine the heart up. Work with where you want to go here. There's no pressure, there's no ego. We just move in a way that feels healthy, feels powerful, but feels safe. Forward fold when you're ready, sleeping pigeon allowing the weight of your upper body to further rotate that left hip into external rotation. And if you're quite deep, if your hips are quite fle flexible, you can start to work that left shin closer to parallel to the mat. I have very tight hips. Working your way up, we're gonna wiggle this back knee in and see if you can hover it for a moment. Feel the obliques and the abductors and then lift and rotate a few times through. Seeing if you can end in pigeon without the help of your hands. And then three pigeon push-ups. Lift, bend and land, 
Push the earth away. Need to know this land. Push the earth away. Hold it here. We're going to try to step through our hands. So, maybe blocks here. See if you can walk, 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 walk. Reverse tabletop. Shine the heart through. Lift the hips. Only drop the head back if it feels safe. Half L, sit. Push the shoulders down, pull the belly in. Firm everything and see if you can crawl back. If you're working on jump throughs, step. See if you can float through. Or go ahead and practice that a few times. If you're like, that's good, let's move on. Set the blocks aside, take a forward fold. Inhale, straighten out the spine. Exhale, your depth. <sighs> Engage the quads, pull the kneecaps upwards. Send the tailbone back, the heart forward. Lift up again. Nice. Push the palms behind the back body. We're going to press the shoulders down to elevate the heart upwards. Hips up. Bring the body down, bring the palms in line with the knees or on blocks one more time through that either half L or full L. Take a gentle straddle and work forward through the core, bringing the heart through. Again, this is all your depth, you listen to your body. Take that a few times, bend the right knee in, left hand swivels back. And we just take this hip lift, heart opener, shift down, switch sides, swing, open, swing back through. Draw the feet together, lift up through the heart center one more time, and start to roll down the spine. Three, two, when the low back hits, let's take low bow. Press the palms into the thighs and rock yourself. Four, three, two, one. A little crisscross. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. A little backstroke. Four, open, swim it around. Three, open, you got this. Two, swing it around. And one, and hug the knees in. Drop the head. Drop the feet in nice and close. Opportunity for a back bend. Bridge pose. Peel the spine off the mat. You could support the back, peeling your hands to the sacrum, elbows under the back. You could place a block there. Or if you're feeling pretty open, let's go for a wheel. If you're in wheel, we're going to really try to open the heart to the back of the mat. Pushing nice open shoulders. You could play with straight legs. You could play with tippy toes. Maybe leg raises. Tuck the chin. Work your way down. Peel down the spine. Give yourself a nice big squeeze. Rock and roll. Massage the spine. Happy baby, wrap your hands around the outside of your feet, pressing down through the tailbone, the shoulders on the back of the head, straddle, find an eagle wrap, right leg over left leg, right hand under left hand, see if you can connect the knee to the elbow, nice tight squeeze. Hold, lower, open up the pose, elbows high, feet to ground, and then we'll send the knees to the left and the arms to the right. Maybe you set a block under. Good, expand through the left arm now, press down through the right shoulder, turn the gaze and breathe in your twist. We can take it a little deeper by crossing, uncrossing the legs, expanding out through the right leg, and perhaps grabbing down for the left foot. A little pretzel twist, breathe. 
So you drop the right shoulder down again. Unwind, left leg crosses over right. Left arm under right arm. Kind of square out the shoulders and hips and then hold it here for a few breaths. Knees to elbows, round the shoulder blades off the mat, hug the belly in. And open it up, elbows high, work the foot, right foot down. Plug the sacrum into the mat. Good, bring the knees up and over to the right, maybe with a block there. Left hand can go and then peel it back over. Left shoulder releases, gaze to the left hand. Nice deep breaths here. Feel the spine twisting as the hips stack and the shoulders melt. And then perhaps deepening the pose by expanding the left leg, grabbing onto it. To grab the bottom leg, you might need to lift the shoulders, get it, and then work back down. Working that knee, pointing down towards the top of your mat. Awesome. Let's go ahead and release that. Any movement, circling, massaging the back into the earth. We'll take the feet and try and give our wrists one big toe tap and drag back slowly. And if you'd like to stay in flat well for a couple breaths, that's an option. You could go into Shavasana now if you feel done. You could slide the hands into support, wiggle the elbows under, and just play. Shoulder stand, plow. Perhaps trying to go down into bridge. Stag legs, land soft. Listen to your body. You might want one more back bend. And then finding your pose of comfort. So you could set yourself up with blocks, with a blanket. Maybe you want to just shine the heart open, finding like if thoracic spine fish pose. See where you wanna go, just get really comfortable. We worked really hard and we want to find this moment of complete surrender, complete stillness. We allow our, our bodies and our minds a chance to reap the benefits of the practice and find rest, find comfort. Allow the breath to come into your most natural state. Relax through the forehead, the eyebrows, the jaw, the tongue. Imagine you could send your breath into any areas of tension, of stress. Any areas that need clearing in the mind. Allow the mat to completely support your weight. And in doing so, perhaps you feel weightless, like you're floating. Feel free to stay as long as you need. I'll start to cue you out by just allowing some movement back into the body. Fingers, toes, ankles, wrists. Inhale the arms over the head, deep breath in. Push any equipment out of your way. And exhale, give yourself a nice welcoming squeeze. Wrap yourself with love, peace, joy, happiness, 
good intention. Swing the body up. Come to any seated pose, maybe even up on a block. Taking this moment of gratitude, closing together, rounding the shoulders back, stacking the shoulders over the hips, grounding down through the sit bones, lifting up through the crown of the head, enjoying this new space we've created in the body, floating the palms to heart center as you press the sternum into the thumbs. Take a humble bow inward, appreciating all that our bodies were capable of, every movement that you were able to do, so healthy for your body, for your mind. Planting seeds for areas where you want to strengthen, gain more flexibility, but no judgment it will all come in time. Deep breath in to take with you through your day. Cleansing sigh. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. I will see you soon. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.